so for a number ending with one if the unit digit is one and this one i'm talking about the unit digit i'm not talking about the tens place digit for we'll take with i'll uh, make you understand with the help of an example find the last two digits of 41 raised to power 786 so if a number ends up in one raised to power anything the last digit would always be one so last digit is already fixed now the tens place digit would be obtained by multiplying the second last digit which is the second last digit four here with the last digit of the power so i'll multiply the second last digit with the last digit of the power 6 into 4 it is what 24 i'll keep 4 4 will be my tens place digit so the last two digits will be 41 1 will always be there because if a number ends up with 1 raised to power anything would always end up in 1 second last digit would be obtained by multiplying the second last digit with the second with the last digit of the Power. So you get twenty-four. You will always keep the last digit, which is four. This will be your tens place digit. Let's move ahead and let's look at numbers ending with three, seven, or nine. So if the unit digit ends up with three, seven, and nine, I will convert it into a case ending with one. So I will convert it into a case ending with one, and then proceed ahead with the method that I have learnt already. For a number ending with one, let's look at an example. The question is: Find the last two digits of forty-three raised to power seven eighty-four. Now we need to convert it into a number such that the unit digit would end with one. So I'll keep four inside and one ninety-six outside. This power of seven eighty-four has been split up as four into one ninety-six. Why four? Because I know. Three raised to power four ends up in one. So I'll find out the value of forty-three raised to power four. I know that forty-three raised to power four ends up in ends up in what one. Now to find out this thing, I have another thing. I have another method which I'll just let you know. So first let's look at it. The last two digit that comes out to be a zero one or forty-three raised to power four. Raised to power one ninety six. So I've got already converted into a way that it ends up with one. The unit digit would be one. The tens place digit would be obtained by multiplying the second last digit, which is what zero, with the last digit of the power, which is six. So I'll be doing zero into six, which is zero, which is your basically tens place digit. So the last two digits will be zero one. So if if a number ends with three seven or nine, I will try to convert it into a case that ends with one by splitting up the powers such that the internal power when solved gives me one at the end, and to that power also I will only keep the last two digits. I would not find forty three raised to power four exact. I would only need the last two digits of forty three raised to power four. Now let's. Let's uh, understand the procedure once again. We need to convert it into a number such that the unit digit would end with one. For that, I need to remember that three raised to power four ends up in one. Seven raised to power four ends up in one, and nine square ends up in one. So if you have any parts, split it such that the internal part would solve up and give you the value of one in the end. So if a number ends with three. Seven or nine, the power has to be split up such that, such that this value, when solved for this number, ends up in one. What happens if a number is an even number? We have already done the case of number ending with one, three, five, uh, seven, and nine. Let's look at the numbers that end with two, four, six, or eight. Now, for this, we need to remember certain things. First one being, two raised to power ten ends up with twenty-four, or the value of two raised to power ten is one zero two four. Two raised to power ten raised to any odd power, odd power would result in the last two digits as twenty-four. Two raised to power ten raised to any even power would end up 
with the last two digits as 76. So if the power is odd, the last two digits would be 24. If the power is even, the last two digits would be 76. And the last thing that I need to remember is 76 into any power of 2. The last two digits are given by the last two digits of that power of 2. So if you have 76 into 2 raised to power n, the last two digits will be given by the last two digits of 2 raised to power n. 76 will have no effect on finding out the last two digits. So if it is 76 into 2 raised to power 5, the last two digits would be 32. If it is 76 into 2 raised to power 6, the last two digits will be for 2 raised to power 6, which are 64. Similarly, 76 into 2 raised to power 10, the last two digits will be for 2 raised to power 10, which is 24. Let's look at an example. Find the last two digits of 2 raised to power 662. So I will try to split it up into 2 raised to power 10 inside which is 1024 I know the last two digits raised to power so I will break this power 662 such that it is 10 into 60 which is 600 plus 2 sorry 10 into 66 which is 660 and plus 2 so I will keep 2 raised to power 10 inside 66 outside into 2 square now if I solve it out I know 2 raised to power 10 ends up in 24 so 2 raised to power 10 ends up in 24 and any even power would end up in 76 76 into 2 raised to power 2 or 2 square would end up in the last two digits as that power of 2 so again 76 will have no contribution towards it let's look at another example find the last two digits of 12 raised to power 662 now for this I will break up 12 into 4 and 3 because 4 is even 3 is odd so I will separately find out the last two digits for odd and even numbers and then combine them in the end to get to my final answer so if I look at it 4 raised to power 662 can be can be you know separated as 2 raised to power 10 the power is 132 into 2 raised to power 4. So this power has to be split it up such that the value becomes equal to this. And 3 raised to power 662. Now for 3, I will keep 4 in the 4 inside because I know 3 raised to power 4 ends up in 1. And the rest of the power would be 165 and 3 square. So if I just solve it out, 2 raised to power 10 into any even power 76 into 76 into what is this? 2 raised to power 4 which is 16 the answer for these two would be 16 now 81 to find out the last digit it will be 1 for 8 it will be 1 for this and the last digit would be 8 into 5 so I will look at this will be 16 if I solve this 8 into 5 40 so I will keep 0 as the tens place digit it will be 0 1 into 0 9 so I will just have to solve these things to get to a final answer of 40 Four. So the last two digits of 12 raised to power 662 are 44. I hope you have understood this thing. If you have not understood it, you can always go back and revise the concept. This is very, very important to understand how to find out the last two digits. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. You can visit our website edusathi.com to practice more questions on this topic and access other useful information. Like us and follow us on Facebook and Twitter to get exam related information and other such updates. We wish you all the best for your preparations. Thank you and have a good day.